God bless each one of you brothers and sisters. So, um, this video is going to be, you know, very different. Uh, you know, God has put this in my heart to talk about. And, um, you know, in a lot of churches, um, a lot of people, you know, when we spread the gospel, uh, God will show me how, you know, and I, there's a lot of people who expect the, you know, the word of God to be famous, but in the wrong idea, you know, like not giving the glory to God, but giving the glory to themselves when they spread the gospel, you know, and, uh, you know, when we spread the word of God, it's not for the subscribers, but to spread the gospel to the word, to, so we could spread the gospel of the word to those who need to hear the word and those who, you know, who don't want nothing to do with God, but that they can hear the word so that they can know that God loves them and that they got time right now to come to Christ to be transformed, new, and receive eternal life. And, you know, a lot more. But, uh, brothers and sisters, our main focus is to just do our Father's will and uh, just keep on going, spreading the gospel, but also going to relationship with God ourselves. Because I feel like that's one of the big main problems with a lot of, you know, not just YouTube channels, but people themselves. Because, yes, God gives people a ministry, but it's to still give God the glory, and God deserves all the glory, Him and Him only, not us. Because we're not the ones who give the word. We're spreading the word of God. God is speaking to the person, not us speaking to the person. God uses us so we can speak to the people so that all the glory goes to God and that they can know about God. How are you going to take the word of someone, pass it on to you, and then say that this is your word? This is the word of God and how we're supposed to be spreading his word, not our word. And also, you know, transmitting or changing the word so that, you know, people can like the word more. Brothers and sisters, then we're not spreading the truth then. You know, God has given us a responsibility. Those who, you know, we're called the hallelujahs. We praise God. We look for God and we seek God. Those who really want a relationship with him, those who really want to be transformed, you know, those who really fast, you know, you know, feed on the word of God. Brothers and sisters, you know, uh, that's that's our main focus, you know. And if, if we don't tell the others the truth, you know, we're going to be responsible for that person then. You know, and, uh, you know, us friend the gospel is like, you know, a, a person who is blind, walking with a stick, walking on the road, there's a truck coming quick. If I don't tell you the word, you know, you're not, you're not going to survive, you know, you you know, like I came to give the word of life, you know, like I'm, we're trying to get you out of, you know, of, you know, the punishment of sin, which is telling you the word of God, but we can't just tell you it. You know, the accepting prayer for accepting Christ as your Lord and Savior, that's a powerful prayer. But you got to live by it. You got to live by God's word. You got to change your life and live by the word of God. It's not just saying that, but you got to be doers of the word. And, you know, all the glory goes to God, not us, you know. Uh, you know, like someone is literally on the, on the floor, you know, because they have poison. You know, I have the antidote of Christ, which is the word of God that's going to give you life, you know. So... Just, I feel like this is something that needs to be heard, and please keep me in your prayers a lot, and uh, keep everyone in prayer, you know. Uh, there's a lot of uh, people who are preaching the word of God, and hopefully our main mission is to spread the gospel, okay, brothers and sisters? And, uh, you know, there was a time and point, you know, a long time ago, you know, I had my mind um, on the numbers, but... You know, God don't look at the numbers, you know. He looks at the lives that really, that he, he, he wants to save. That's why he gave Christ as the atonement of our sins. And brothers and sisters, that should be our main focus. So, you know, this is something that needs to be heard. This is something that a lot of people should put into mind, you know, because when God used the people in the Bible, you know, Daniel, uh, you know, Moses, these people, you know, like people were like, wow, so you're God. And they said, no, we're not God's, but this is the glory of God displaying. This is God working. This is God. It wasn't Moses who parted the waters. It was God who was with them when he parted the waters. 
you see? But he doesn't share his glory with no one. Not even the enemy himself. You see? Because when the enemy was up there in heaven, the thing was, when he tried to be like God, trying to... And acting like God would share his glory with them. They were damned down here. Because remember, they were holy. Now they have no, you know, they have no second chance because they were holy. But we have hope because Christ died for us, for our sins. You see? And hell was always made for sin, for disobedience. Hell was, was made for the devil and his demons. But since the devil made people disobey God, which was in Adam and Eve. You can find that in Genesis. Brothers and sisters, now we are born as sinners, but we could be transformed and be a new creation of Christ. Everything though, we gotta live by God. We gotta live by His word. We gotta, we gotta seek God. We gotta, you know, we gotta read the Bible. We gotta go to His temple, you know, to hear His word, to you know, give Him time to worship Him, you know, give Him time in your homes, anywhere you're at, you know, to look for Him. And just all the glory goes to God, and it always will, and it always will be, you know. John chapter 1, it says, you know, the word was with God and the word was God. So, you know, no one can take the glory for themselves but God. Amen. So, uh, just keep me in prayers a lot, you know. Um, just, I feel like all of us who had a ministry, the enemy will always put that in display. To act like we could receive glory, which God rebuke all the demons in the name of Jesus. Uh, you know, we just... We just can't, you know? And, like, you know, I'm a witness to this, you know? Because before I used to think about the numbers and everything, God's like, why are you looking at the numbers? Spread my gospel so, so that they can know me, so that they can have, you know, so they can know about, you know, eternal life, so that they can receive it if they repent from their sins and turn to me. You know, brothers and sisters, you know? So, you know, God don't look at the things man see. You know, God's holy. And all the glory goes to God and God only. So, God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.